Paul said the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you can do it with your phone at home on YouTube. Yes, that will fully be shut down. If you never know, uh, all the preachings that we record here, they are on that channel. So, in the channel of the church. So, you can find all preachings that we have preached God bless you. Bless you. The names of these people, they are called elect ones. So they have four or five names. First, elect ones. Sometimes they are called chosen ones. And they are called the bride of Jesus Christ. They are also called man. Child. Uh, according to Revelation 12. If you read Revelation 12, verse 1, the Bible speaks about a woman. There, there is a woman of Revelation 12 and the woman of Revelation 17 and the woman of Revelation 18 the woman of Revelation 18 is a harlot is a prostitute and that represents a church the denomination church with the mother represented by the mother himself Catholic church Romans he is called the mother of all churches and uh, that mother has got her uh, daughters those daughters are these other so called churches. They drank, they are drunk of uh, wine, of mixing to the word of God the thoughts of men. When you mix the word of God with your intelligence, that is prostitution. So prostitution is not only as it's done in the nature, even spiritually, there is prostitution. Because the church is considered as, is, as a woman. Let me say, a wife is a church. A wife should have only one husband. I'm thanking the Lord very much for what he did to his servants last Sunday. I was inspired very much in the preaching of Sunday. Brother Chola was talking on the marriage of the Lamb. That's why I was also inspired on some things I'm talking about now. A wife is supposed to have a husband. When a married wife comes with another man, it's adultery. It's prostitution. And for a married wife, a married woman, for her to go with another man, she should first kill the first husband in her heart. She has no depending anymore on that same husband. Because a woman has no case. When she's at home, she's depending
depending on their parents. Parents are the heads of the girl at home. God never saw a woman with a head. A woman has no head. If she is at home with her parents, the father or the parents are the head of that daughter, that girl. Even if she wants to marry, even if you love that man, your father can cancel your decision. Because you depend on your parents. That's why the day of the marriage, we ask, who marries, who is giving this bride, this girl, this sister to We don't ask it to the brother. But to the girl, the sister. Because the father of the sister, she, he can say, no, I don't want this marriage. And we stop everything. When she leaves her parents, she, she enters in the marriage. The husband becomes their the head. No longer again the father. So you married women. Your parents are no longer your father, your heads. When you are married, your husband becomes your head. Mm-hmm. Then, in the marriage, if a woman is married, that the, she can say, no, I want to go to study to use I can say no. No, I've got three days of prayers and fasting. I say, not these days. Don't say, no, woman, you, are, you are a demon. We have to pray, God. No. You depend on me. I am your head. You cannot organize the prayers and the fasting. You say, no, I don't want to stay in the I will step down because I'm praying my God. No. You have to ask your head. You go, you take Kongole. Your husband doesn't know. That is one of the signs of unfaithfulness. How can you do? You travel, you go to, to Lusaka. And your husband doesn't know. No, it means he is not your head. Can someone say amen? That's the truth, my friend. A married woman depends on her head. For everything you want to do, every place you want to go, even if your husband is at work, ask authorization. Do you know when Eve met the snake, the serpent? And today we are what we are today. That's why in the Bible, in the religion, in Christianism, the woman has got a very, very important place. We cannot talk about women as if we are joking. Sin passed by there. That's how we are today at this year. Not you. You, you are daughters of 
people told him. Brother Brennan, you know why we are here? You are also waiting for the judgment. He could ask, where are people who pop preachers? Uh, those of pop, they are already there. Oh, then Brennan said, if people who believe the preaching of Paul intact, Security. To keep at your home. 
if he is by that stone, he doesn't know what is happening behind it. He doesn't know what is happening on the roof. He doesn't even know what is happening inside your house. His job is pam pam. That's just the But a watchman is above the house. From there, he can see left side, right side, in the front, in the back, and at this time, because he's here. Okay, see. Someone is coming there. You don't see. You are looking here. You are a security officer. But this one is a watchman. This they can see there. You, you are looking here. The servant of God. Our watchman. Some of the things we can see. Were you at the well with Jesus? 
Number three. Jesus never, yes, never sent her to go and say what she went to say.
after Jesus taught him to work, and then away. You, when you are going to preach, you are preaching on TVs, you are preaching on social media, you women. You are preaching in your churches. Where is your water pot? Come and see a man which told me about all things I ever did. If you refer to this woman, is it what you are preaching all these years? Seducing spirits. Then for the uh, for the two. No, for the. Uh, it's just for the two. Eyo, what is the point of this? Number the command you to plan the COVID. I want to take it up. One two. Not you see la. Come in. Why is your putty with you? Eyo, kusushi. Hallelujah. God knew that seducing spirit will come later to say no, the woman is Samaritan preaching also. God said here when men came because she went to the city come, come this one is a prostitute she said no they just went because she was making noise. When they went to here, where is he? He's there. Okay. Men went. Then they said to the woman, You, if we believe, it's because ourselves. We are ready. It means we never believe because you preach us. All churches where a woman is preaching is a seducing spirit. Luke chapter 22. Luke chapter 22. Verse 48. Verse 48. Now, the Spirit speaks expressly that in the later times in 2024 we put the date for us today. Dates. This is the later date. It's today. Some shall depart from the faith. Shall depart from the faith. Giving heed to seducing spirits. And the doctrines of demons. Let's see now those fissures of your few. Now let us see this doctrine of We have already mentioned some. The first one was the Trinity. The second one was a woman to preach. Is a seducing spirit. Number three is baptizing babies. We don't baptize babies. The Bible never baptized any baby. We pray for them. We pray for them. We never baptize them. Why? The baptism is administrated to a person after repentance. Those who shall believe. So it repent and be baptized. So the baptism comes after repentance. Can a baby repent? This 
baby there can repay you. Even those children, our, our daughter's children, we pray for Sunday school. They can repent. They can repent. I don't want to put a day there. Because it's dependent. I prefer staying what the Bible says here. I'm a person that can repent. It's after repentance. You can be baptized. Even if you brothers and sisters. If you were baptized in the water, now I let your mention without being repented first. Your baptism is nothing. The water of baptism never changes anybody. You need to repent sincerely. And then you will enter the water of baptism. Who wants to baptize today? We will baptize you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who wants? Today, the water is there. Who wants to baptize? Lift up your hands. Lift up your hand, my brother. Lift up your hand, my sister. If you want to baptize today, in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Bible teaches. So we don't baptize babies. No. All churches where people are baptized by sprinkling water on the head, they are raised by seducing spirits. Amen. 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 Number five. The Lord's Supper. There are people who are having Lord's Supper with biscuits. And grenadine. Because it's yellow, it's, it's red. They buy my grenadine. And they share my kampongo. That's now it's just a symbol. Even the symbol. Every symbol has got a meaning according to God. When God wanted the wine, And that grace we represent the body of Christ, not the other side. No, 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 yes, 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 no, Six. We enter the church. You know why we are talking like this? I said churches today are prisons. So the gospel we are preaching, it's the deliverance. We are calling all children of God elect one to come out. From all those prisons. We just come in the church. On the door there. That's door. This door. There are women there. My sisters. At my, my ashes. At the reception room. At the church. If you want to have a picture of a church according to Jesus Christ, look here. You see that man. You see that man. The voice of a deacon is not the deaconess. Sister Matthew. Sister Matthew. Don't instruct other sisters. We have a deacon. It's a statistic.
wife. You can read that scripture, first day by us. A husband of one wife. That's what Mama Deacon is. Mama Deacon. Are you also, you, you, Mama? You are a deaconess in your church. Are you also a husband of one wife? So you are gay. How are you gay? Because the condition you must be a husband of one wife. You, you are already a wife. You are a husband of one wife. You are homosexual. You are homosexual. Say, you see spirit. He left to go. Come out. Come out. And we have come out. Amen. Two people. That's really you. Brother. I am preaching you the biblical end time message. Amen. Amen. Let me show you the end time message. Then I am preaching you the end time message. Every true servant of God. Every Ephesians 4.11. That is preaching for the perfecting of the saints. Preparing the bride to the rapture today must be capable to preach the message with the Bible. I can read with the brother, I can read with the friend, but whatever I read, I must be capable to see it because the message. Yes. Timothy. Second Timothy. 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 Chapter 3. Verse 4. And. But Timothy. Babe. Amarume. Babe. Tashumo. Umo. Wait. Brother Chesh. Mina Chesh. Do you have. How many wives? How many wives do you have? Brother, brother Chilfia. How many wives do you have? How many? How many? One. One. We are the biblical church. So us here, we can take the Bible. I hold my Bible. I challenge all churches in the world. Come here. And prove us that we are preaching a wrong doctrine here. Come with your Bible. No matter the translation version. But us, we can destroy and we are destroying all false doctrine with the Bible open. As we know, we are teaching of our church. In our church, Jesus said, Yes, sir. Sola scriptures. Ah, Malembo. Malembo. Sola scriptura. Finish. The message of the hour is back to the Holy Scriptures. All churches in the end time message who are not capable. They are preaching, they are seducing spirits. Amen. That's what we tell you. The problem is not to go, no, me, I'm in anti message. We are biblical anti message. So, as when I read with a brother, I read, I read. I must be capable to see what he preaches. Here. If you read any quotation of Brana, if you read any quotation of you and Frank, 
And you are not able to see that in the Bible. Take that quotation. Don't say it's wrong. I'm not saying rejected that. No, I'm saying put it aside. Read what you can read in the Bible. Our brothers. Our brothers. Who are not capable to find the symbols of William Branham in the Bible. Then they are preaching that Jesus Christ is William Branham. That is a number six seducing spirit. William Branham is never, can never, was never, will never be compared to the Lord Jesus Christ. A 
I'm not saying the devil cannot attack us. The, the demons. We are fighting. If you don't meet the devil, it means you are going along. We are going together. I repeat. If you are walking and don't meet Satan, ah, it means he's afraid you are going together. Us. If we. Makof. Makof. Bibul. Satan is going to pick up. And I pick up one. I pick up double. Jesus never promised us easy life. Yes, He promised us victory. You cannot be proclaimed the victory without fighting. The Christian life, the life you have gone to. Just those demons. 
Don't even do it in the office. We don't office out. We believe prophecies. We believe speaking in tongues. It's the way of God. But everything, your visions, your speaking in tongues, your prophecies, back to the Bible. You tell me, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. God is telling me that. Uh, you know why you are suffering? The phone that you lost. There is a sister in church. Who took your phone? What's the phone? The one sister in the choir. Who took the choir? The choir. The Let's destroy all false doctrines. 
Because that rain will not come to change the quality, the nature of the seed. The rain never changes the nature of the seed. Even the nature. If you plant in maize, the rain comes. The others will be ready. Will be ready. That's, that's power. The later rain power. The way the primitive church started. That's how it's going to be in the last church. But before that, nothing of man should be found in our faith. This time is a time of cleaning. Every false doctrine, every philosophy of men in our faith. Out! We want to change all the children's and everybody at home. We should be in the state as people in the upper room. Waiting for the rain to flow. Let it rain. Let it rain. Before you pray for the rain to come, make sure that you have the pure seed. Number seven. As we said, 1963 was the rapture. There are people using this. The preachings of William Branham misunderstood. They are preaching that Jesus Christ came back in 1963. And they call him that the second coming. But when we tell, we ask William Branham himself, he preached that there are three comings of Jesus Christ. Jesus comes three times. My brother, if we say William Branham is a true prophet of God, it's not because of miracles. No, because we can see his preaching, it's big. He preaches that Jesus comes three times. The first time, he came to redeem the bride. When he died on Calvary. That is called the first coming of Jesus Christ. Second coming of Jesus Christ. He will come to receive, to take the bride. The second coming of Jesus Christ, when he comes, the bride church will be raptured. That's John 14, verse 1. Yeah, you want chapter 14, verse 1. Sister, write. My brother, write the scriptures. You should come at church, write, take notes. They are seducing spirits. Don't come at church as at the parliament. Please, take notes. Read the Bible. John 14, 1. John chapter 14, verse 1. First. Corinthians 15, 51, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 16, we even include Galatians 1, that we can read it, sorry, Act 1, that we didn't read it. Verse 9. Yes, nine. When he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. 
That is Jesus Christ. He was with his apostles. No. No. He was telling them to wait. He was telling them all about the power. He was telling them about the Holy Spirit. They were looking at him. While he was talking, they just looked. He's taking, he's being taken out. He was blessing them. And the clouds. So the apostles, they start looking at how he was going. A man with heads and arms and hands and legs and fingers and tools. When they're looking at him going, then. Verse 10. Why they look steadfast? Steadfast. They are Towards heaven as they, 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 he went up. Behold! All men stood by them. Why say Nina? Eleven. Who said, You men of Galilee, Hallelujah. Are you there? You men of Mufrira, why stand you gazing up into heaven? Long time. 
You will hear and you have heard already. I will just use one or two minutes I pass. God doesn't even need the teaching for that. But just know. And this is only people who believe to read the message. Otherwise, others can't understand. But listen, how many people believe the message of the Hawaiian? Okay, it's the majority. It's about the seventh angel. People are saying William Branham. There are even brochures. Yes, sometimes they write the seventh angel. Seventh angel. It's not a problem. Branham is the seventh angel. But is not the seventh angel of Revelation 10 There are two groups of seven angels. The first group are seven angels. Heavenly ones, you find them in Revelation chapter 8. He, the bishop, the bishop, can't talk about this. They will play in the gospel. No, just his power. Yes, it is not his power. They are our young brothers. They can play with the name of Jesus. But when it comes of the food, it's only egos. You bishop! You bishop! Even you, mother, mother, but mama Can you tell me about the vision of Daniel? Can you tell me about the seven seeds? Can you tell me about Revelation 12? Who is that woman? Do you even open the book of Revelation? You play here in, in uh, Gospels. Jesus, you see? The Lord? Yes. But he, Daniel, let's say Genesis. Daniel, Daniel and Revelation. It for egos. Revelation 8. Uh, egos here. Can you tell your brothers I'm, a, I'm an ego? Only I'm an ego. Soon I'm going to fly. I'm not a chicken. Who knows the song of who knows uh, Kaonde? Oluba. Even if your English is broken, can you can you interpret this in your, your broken memory? This song says, You can even understand, it's almost like member. You are you interpret what you were you might take. Amiwa uno, nechoni chamulu, nechoni chamulu, yo tumukanga, chile 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 pumuka, mulu mula no sangaji, mo 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 pula, ya ya ya, ah, ifu tulima kufioni chamulu, we are eagles, we are birds of the air. Can fly where all these other birds can't reach. Us. Even we can take Genesis chapter one. 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 Up to Revelation twenty-two. The last. What is the last sentence? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. No mystery. 
which we can't know. All mysteries were revealed. Everything. Everything. When they talk of the beasts, we know what is the beasts. Amen. Ah, yes, brother. Go in that section. So, chapter eight. Yes, version eight. We we are saying William Branham is not the seventh angel of Revelation ten seven. William Branham Branham ten Malaika Walenga Chinel Walie Kwa Sokola chapter ten the seven even questions. There are even many brochures of William Branham. Why are they publishing such a thing William Branham? Some pictures even on social media. They even sing songs. William Branham is the seventh angel. Revelation 10 7. We shall see. And seducing spirits. And then he had opened the seventh. No. Mm, if you have. The Bible There is even a. A title, some Bible they even put a title. Uh, Bible is a Bible. Yes. Okay. It's okay. In the psalm, it's written the seven trumpets. Now, H2. Number H2. And I saw the seven angels which stood before. And to them were given seven trumpets. These seven trumpets, these seven angels here, they started blowing. The first one blow the seven. The seven. The second when you the, the second one, verse 8. What we need? Verse 8. You can even underline. The third one, verse 9. What that do? Verse 9. The fourth one, verse 10. What is it? What is it? Verse 10. The fourth, verse 12. What? What? What is it? Verse 11. The fifth one, chapter 9, verse 1. What is it? Number 5, chapter 9, verse 6. It's one. And if you look at when they are blowing, what is happening on earth? Destruction. Destruction. The first one blow a trumpet. One touch and it's shaken down. Hell and fire mingled with blood. These things are not yet happening. And we can't even see them. No, from an attack. At this time of this, when these seven, seven angels will be blowing, a bride will not be on earth. Now we got that away, Pachalo. And look at chapter 10 now. chapter 10. My brother. Better you miss money. Better you miss food. But your soul is secure. You are blessed one. Thank you. Chapter 10. Chapter 10. We have 15 minutes to finish. Chapter 10. Chapter 10. Verse. Verse. 7. 7. But. Leo. My brother, this is one of the biggest de de deviation and uh, ah, yes, I'm bad, sir. God bless you. Look at this. Well, there are many. Yeah, yeah. Here it's written in the days Monshiko, the seventh the seventh angel. Yeah, Monshiko uh, Revelation uh, Mean that it's William Branham. Take what William Branham. No. How? How? That's how we also believed before. We believe like this. But my brother, I'm telling you. Yeah. God uses people. Let's have a few God helps us very much. Yes. With another ministry. Yes. Of you are the front. That brother. Yes. 
may his soul rest in peace. He's going to be buried today. This man of you are the front. Help us to take the brochures of William Branham. He helps us to understand to put at the right place in the Bible. That is the ministry of Ewan Frank. Ewan Frank was not a messenger. Ewan Frank was not the elf messenger. Ewan Frank was not a prophet. He doesn't correct the prophet. He was frank. Doesn't replace the prophet. There are two different ministries. One is a prophet. The other one is a teacher. A teacher teaches scripture. Is the one who helped us. That's A. Hey, hey, watch out. When Renan talked about this, he was just referring himself to the seventh angel of church ages. Because we the brother is also the seventh angel. But of Revelation 3, verse 14, verse 14. Right to the angel over Laodicea. William Branham is the seventh angel. Amen. But not of Revelation 10 7. Our Malaika of Revelation 10 7 are angels of trumpets. They will start blowing their trumpet after the bride is already in heaven. They are heavenly angels. Branham and these other six ones, they are heavenly angels. They don't have trumpets, they have messages. That's why when you read Revelation 10, we have only 10 minutes to read Revelation 10, verse 7. In the days of the voice of the servant, when he shall begin to sound the mystery. It shall come. Ah, not it shall come. The mystery. What mystery? The mystery of God shall be finished. As here, we know already this mystery of God. This scripture is not addressing to us. It's to Jews. Us. First Timothy chapter 3. Verse 16. Let's read that. Let's read that. As we know the mystery of God already. Jews. The mystery of God. The mystery of God. Chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse 16. Hallelujah! First Timothy chapter 3. We know it. That is the mystery of godliness.
grace. Mm. We want to ask God. Jesus. God is going to answer. Yes, I'll ask God. God answer. Yes, ask. God was manifested in the flesh. Yeah. 
When he was born, they even came to sing. Hosanna, Hosanna. They are singing. Hosanna to the highest. Now, the, the time they saw him. Of the seventh angel of the seventh church of 
ages. He is not the, the seventh angel of Revelation 10 7. This one, who you when he blows the trumpet, we are we are not even we are not very concerned by this. That's why we can't even talk about seven thunders. In connection with this, that was another seducing spirit. Oh, they said to them, sorry, baby. Oh, this is what was the first broker. They told John to go to rights. By the one that you remember. Even all those brothers, you brothers, maybe you are here, or maybe you will follow one day. Look at how you divided churches. When the message came with this false doctrine, all seven factors are reviewed. And you put many people innocently today. Are you able to preach seven thunders? They don't talk again about them. They don't even know what they are. It was just a movement. And churches are divided. Our mission we destroy all false doctrine. That's our work. To clean. And to call so that children of God, the elect ones, be free and come out. If you come out, you don't come in this local, in this room. Make your children experience of salvation. Be born again and be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Yes. Because the baptism of the Holy Spirit it's possible to church to only to those who are okay who only believe the pure word of God. God sent William Branham. He preached us the message. What is that message? The Bible reviews. The Bible reviews. No, the Bible reviews is the message. Not just Bible, Bible, Bible. The Bible reviews. That's the message. William Branham, William Branham didn't bring a new doctrine. No. He came to tell us that there's only one church. That church is built on the foundations of apostles and prophets. Preach. Teach. Preach. Teach. Pray. Believe. Act. As apostles. The rapture is possible. Those who can believe the Bible. As the apostles believe. For those other issues. Because when the prophet speaks, he uses, he can use in one sentence two, three things. For us to understand, God sent another person. He was a friend. He was a friend. That friend is a teacher. His job was to help us to understand what Branham preached. Why? Let's check. All those people who rejected the ministry of Iwan Frank, they are full of false doctrine. When they are preaching, you know, it's just Branham said. Branham said. Branham said. Branham said. You can find two, three quotations different. You can find a quotation of William Branham in here. He said like this, in the other one, he said different. There are even some other quotations. Branham could say one thing, later the Spirit of God comes and correct him. Now, if you keep on it, you will be a says. Branham said, take that quotation back to the Bible. Under the ministry of the one we are going to buy today, yeah, he was the 
Frank. Where is Frank? Look at our brothers. Where is the Frank? All over the world. Among them, they say they believe the message of the Lord. They are full of false doctrines. Because they refuse to receive this ministry. But listen, the very last one. As they are Branamites, they are also Frankists. Us, if we, we don't follow Branham. We don't follow Frank. We follow the boss of Branham and Frank. The Holy Scripture. The Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. God has already in John 16. 13. When the comforter will come, he will lead you in all the truth. My brothers and sisters, today on earth, in the church which was of William Branham, called Branham Tabernacle, in America, people don't preach there. They just go there, they put the servants of Branham, they say the voice of Branham, not the voice of God. No, my brother. The voice of God is the way of God. When a man of God is used at that time with the voice of the Lord, that's the voice of God. But a man remains a man. And God remains God. And today, there are other people in Krefeld, in Germany, German, in America, in Congo, in Zimbabwe, who are now saying, as Frank died, you and Frank died. Those who didn't know. Frank died. Frank died. Today, 10 hours. This time. 10 hours. Even when you go back home, you will follow my YouTube. You will follow my YouTube. There is a funeral barrel service. It's online. It's online. He's being buried today. Already, there are some spirits, some seducing spirits, which are preaching their sins. Frank is the one God sent. All is that to me. To preach from city to city. Now he died. What can we preach again? We have nothing to preach. We just put the transmissions. We just put the preachings. Frank. We come in church. We hear Frank. We go. But that is seducing. Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 11. God gave those five fold ministries take the bride to the rapture. Without Branham, without Frank, the bride of Jesus Christ will enter the heaven by the five fold ministries. No inspiration can contradict a scripture. No. Frank was told to go from city to city as from village to village. Frank was told to go from city to city. There is a difference in which between a city and a town. A city is bigger than a town. That's where God sent him to go. That's why Frank didn't come in Kansenshi. In Chiburu. Uh, it's for us. As we go. Frank cannot be on motorbike. As we go. With the Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go and be the gospel all over the world. If he had a specific commission from city to city, but us, we have our scripture, our commission to go everywhere. We are called When there is a sea, we use a boat. We are We go. Why? Church of freedom. You are blessed. My power. Keep these words.
Very soon, God is going to manifest His church. Please avoid being absent in midweek. If you consider what is happening in the world, even to the side of Russia, the NATO and Russia, they are now ready. All the missiles, they are ready now. That side they are proclaiming already, announcing the Third World War. So the destruction of this world is very near. To the side of Israel, peace. But the bride will not be found on earth when there is peace in Israel. But already today, things are clear. What time is it? This time is a time to examine our Any spot, anything goes We are like almost lots with his wife and children. We are like lots. The angel said, Go! Back. The wife looks back. My brother, my sister, <laughs> salvation is individual. <laughs> if your wife plays, <laughs> if your husband plays, <laughs> be serious. <laughs> Two will be in one place, <laughs> one will be taken. <laughs> if your father plays, <laughs> be serious. <laughs> Don't play. <laughs> I made your life. Be in peace with everybody. Prepare your lives. Experience the true baptism in the Holy Spirit. Don't neglect anything. Pray your life. Pray your life. Please. There's no more time. There's no more time. Jesus is at the corner. Please, brother Moro. Please, we are standing up all of us. Let us worship God and ask Him. God help us. Help me. To have the tickets. Ticket the Holy Spirit. If it comes in you, you'll be serious with the word of God. If you make a mistake, don't stay down. We can't Stand up. Ima. Continue. Don't look back. There will be the cross before me. There will
Come on.